I hope you are enjoying this series on JavaScript. If yes, do let me know. And yes, Hidei Shir back again from LearnCodeOnline.in. Make sure you visit the website. And now let's continue on to our scope. I hope you have watched the previous video, otherwise this is not going to make much sense. So there is a classic problem in JavaScript which is known as the King's Territory problem. Now I have named it as King's Territory, everybody names it like something else. I always in my bootcamp and courses recommend that always remember this problem as a king's territory problem. So what is this problem actually? So now that we understand what is our global scope, let, and var, and all of the keyword, now I'm going to comment all of that. I can use my shortcut of command and slash. In case you are on Windows, it's control and slash. Okay, so let's just call this as king's problem, king's territory problem, however you like it. So let's just define a couple of things here. And this is a classic example I always, always give. So let's just say there is a king, which is a global king. Obviously, we are declaring it onto a global scope. So this is going to be a global king. And we're going to call this global king as John, our favorite name in the programming environment, John Doe and Jane Doe. Okay, we know it's a global king. Now let's just say we have another territory here and we're going to go inside that, obviously. So now here also, we're gonna declare one more thing. Let's just say the king of this territory is somebody else. So we should name him as Sam, let's just say. And now if I want to have in here, let's just say we have declared it. Uh, the king is inside in here. Now we have further a territory being decided inside and we're gonna have a true statement here. And let's also define a king in here. And obviously, let's just go and say that king is going to be, let's just say, uh, I'm running out of the name here. So let's just go for the classic Indian name, Ram, and or also known as Ram. So there we go. And let's just say we want to print out here who is the king. Okay. Now this comes up with a very, very classic issue of the problem. Now also, let's just say, uh, this is like uh, one territory being decided and there is another one. And we're going to say true and we want to have a log here and we are just going to be printed in king here. Okay, so what is expected here? So there we go. We have a classic king's territory problem. The global king is here and he has decided that, hey, uh, you know what? I have two kids. This is my one kid and this is my another kid. Uh, this kid is not much interested, so I'm going to be handling his territory. And it is obviously clear that since no king is yet defined in this particular territory, so the king, the global king is ruling here. So if we want to print out this king here, this is kind of a, a global king here acting. So we can even add one line here saying something like this, that I am second part and this is the part one here, okay? So there we go, no problem at all. If I run this, there shouldn't be any issue at all. So let me just clear that up and we're gonna say node and let's just run scope.js and come on, you can run this. So we got a RAM and we got I am second part uh, John. So there we go, no issues at all. Okay, there we go. So we have got a king which is defined in here. Okay, that's okay. But let's just say if we don't have this king being defined here, what is going to happen? Now, since uh, the scope actually works onto just upper level, it is going to look for king into its own scope. It is not going to find it there. So it's gonna move a one level up. It's gonna ask, hey, who is my parent? And it's gonna say, hey, king is defined here. Just take the king from here. Sam is gonna be your next ruler who is going to manage all the things, you know, when uh, the HODs are not there, the virtual HODs are there. Uh, so this is like all the same hierarchies going on here. So what do you think what is going to happen now? What is going to be printed in here as a king? Obviously, Sam is the next king. So Sam should be taking part in here. So let's just say control and slash there and oops, control L to clear that and we're going to run that again. So uh, notice here, uh, I forgot to save this and run that again. Okay, there we go. So obviously, as expected, Sam is the new king and still John is ruling the next territory. Now what happens if even I don't have Sam? Since I don't have any king and I'm looking for the king, I'm going to go for John. That's cool. And let's just say I run this file again. Hope I saved it. Nope. Uh, save that again and run this file again. So obviously John is ruling now both the territories. Okay, that's good. 
But things actually get tricky when something amazing happens. Let's just say uh, we don't even have a definition of the king in here as well. So now who is the king actually? Obviously in here uh, we will talk about this one later on. Uh, for right now I just would like to comment that and we'll only talk about this part. So what do you think on this line 24 what is going to be printed here? Let's just first look at the thing and see what is going to be printed. Control L and there we go. As expected, error, no issues. Errors are always fine. If you get an error, that's completely okay. Okay, now what is going to happen if I get this? Obviously, you know, RAM is going to be printed. What happen if I don't even declare and try to access it? Now, this is something very, very dangerous in JavaScript and can uh, cripple your program, can leak out a variety of things outside the scope as well. Notice there is no such variable which is being declared as king and still we are trying to declare it inside the scope and trying to access that. Okay, now what do you think what is going to happen here? Let's just find it out. Let's just not waste more time. Let's just run that. Okay, no issues at all. But should I be able to access this king here as well? So far we have learned that once a variable is being declared inside, it has nothing to do outside. But so far we have learned that we de are declaring the variable using let or var or const. And uh, this is something strange. We are not even declaring it. We are just using it. So what is going to happen in this case, especially about this part of the code? Now let's just run that and let me show you what is happening here. Notice you are able to access this RAM here, which is the most dangerous part about the JavaScript. So notice you haven't declared it, uh, you're just accessing it and there we go. Now this is something has to do with the JavaScript design part here. Now in the JavaScript it is written that uh, if you don't have a declaration of a variable and still you want to access it, you will be declaring a global variable there. Until unless you explicitly mention there that either you are declaring a var which has uh, already almost a global or you explicitly say a let. Now, as soon as you put a let here, things get fixed and you're gonna get an error. Errors are amazing, they are good. They are good in this case because king is not defined. And we are happy with that because we know that we don't have an access of this king which is not a global. So make sure you always and always declare your variables, either using var or let because in that particular case, you actually know what you are doing. Even in case you are getting an error, that's completely fine. Uh, we completely are aware about this problem. So make sure you always remember this king's territory problem. It can be a really big issue in JavaScript. And make sure you always use either a let or var or const, whatever you have. You never ever ever say something like this. This is really a bad habit. So remember this king's problem. It is my classic example in all of my boot camps. And people actually love that. Let me know in the comment section, do you love it or not? And don't forget to visit learncodeonline.in and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video.